Hey coach, so happy you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Clock hops. Pogo hops. What else did we come up with, Drew? Uh, bunny hops. Kangaroo hops. You're not going to help? Okay, we'll, we'll stay with clock hops. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to have the ball, you're going to be in, in triple threat. Shoulder, feet shoulder width apart. I am going to say, so the clock face, 12, 3, 6, 9. Okay, so I'm going to give him a time and he is going to hop to that time and then he's going to hop back. So if I say 12 o'clock and then he's going to be back. If I say 3 o'clock, if I say 6 o'clock, if I say 9 o'clock, all right, so what's nice is you don't necessarily have to have a circle on the floor to do this. Step up here, Drew. And let's say I did the same thing. Stop right there, all right? And I said 12 o'clock there. It would be the exact same thing. It doesn't matter that you don't have a circle because I know a lot of the, the courts and places that you guys practice are elementary schools and they don't necessarily have little circles, let alone big circles. Um, they might have 18 different badminton lines on it. So it doesn't matter. They all hopefully know what a clock looks like. I think we live in a world maybe they don't all know anymore. So this will be a great life lesson for them. Um, then we'll do it with one foot. So let's do 12 o'clock again. And three o'clock, nine o'clock. And again, we can differentiate this. We can do it with both feet. We can go to military time if you want. Let's go to 1500. That would be three o'clock. That'd be good. All right, so you can expand it. There's lots of different variations. We're not gonna call this kangaroo hop. We're gonna call this clock hop. Nice. All right, next one is what I call step slide. And it's a great move. Drew's gonna get down, put the ball on the floor. He's gonna get his feet about shoulder width apart. Yep, and he is going to do this in slow motion so they can see it. Um, the last one he demonstrated was a little bit too fast. And, um, all right, so you're gonna slide. Go ahead. You're gonna slide and you're gonna slap that ball back and forth. Yep, just like that, that's slow. All right, now you can pick up the pace a little bit more. Notice, no, notice he, he could keep his back a little bit, get his back up a little bit, um, yep. Good. Feet far, feet far apart. You do not want, you want to be like you're sitting in a chair, bud. Good. Yep. Perfect. And as they expand this and they get a little bit better, you can expand this, but they're working all of it. Um, you're making them keep it up. I've actually had people do it with dribbling too. Um, you know, if, if, you're, if they're really good at this and they, you feel like their core strength is strong enough, add dribbling to it. But just make sure they're keeping their heads up when they're doing this drill. Perfect. All right. Another dynamic warm up that we're going to talk about is a, a smorgasbord of stuff. It's going to talk about pivoting, explosiveness, it's going to work all the muscle groups. Um, you know, kids don't really, footwork is something we'll spend time a little bit later, time a little bit later on as far as, you know, the hop or the one-two step as far in the shots, but pivoting is extremely important. Um, and I like this because when you make a good crossover move, what you do is you're basically skiing. Um, so Drew, give me the ball for a second. And I just want you to kind of do our ski jumps on the way down. You know what I'm talking about? Left, right, left. All right, go ahead. Yep. Now, good, yep. Now get your arms out when you do that. Come on back. So this is an initial drill I do, yeah, like that. See how he's kicking? It's almost like a speed, speed skater move. I can't talk today. Um, I like that. That's a good initial one. We're gonna expand on that. Um, I call that speed skater. It's just kind of going back and forth because when you do those crossover moves, that's what you're doing. You're basically being a speed skater. You're going one direction and boom, you're going the next. All right, I think that's what speed skaters do. I don't know. It looks like a speed skater. Um, so you're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to add to the speed skater so he knows how big a jump he's going to do and then he's going to do a 360 pivot. All right, so do one big jump. Big jump, yep, and now you're going to pivot. Yep, and now you're going to pivot the other way. Yep, and now you're going to pivot. So he's going to, and we're going to pick up the pivoting after he's shown it. So go back to Drew and we'll start over again. So we'll do a couple of these. So he's going to do big jumps and then do 90 degree pivots. So when you're here, I want you to do a 90 degree pivot. 90 degree pivot. I don't want you to do a little bit of a pivot. I don't want you to do a 70. I want you to do 90 degrees after you square up. All right, go ahead. So big jump, good. Yep. Big one. Good. Pivot. Good. 
And again, you can have, one more, keep going. You can have your teams doing this as kind of a dance. You know, you can spread four or five kids out on the sideline and have a bunch of them doing this. I would start out with the speed skating first and then move it into the pivoting. Get out of this drill is kind of going backwards. So Drew's going to do the same thing. He's going to get in triple threat. He's going to take a big step back, jump back, and then forward, a little forward, back. And again, once he's done this a couple times, go all the way over to this white line. Yeah, once he's done this a couple of times, we really want to work on land, jump, land, jump, land, jump. All right, and he's not, he's not really differentiating, but really differentiating the big one back and then the small one forward. All right, this drill I like, lining everybody up on the sideline. This is a great one. You don't need much space or many baskets to do this drill. And it will literally get them loose, get their hamstrings, get their calves, get them in that explosive mood because that's what basketball is. It's an explosive game. So I like starting in triple threat. Um, so Drew's going to get the ball up. Actually, it's not really triple threat, but we'll, we'll, that's, a, that's a whole different speech. But anyway, so he's here. All right, he's going to get down. He's going to take one big jump forward, little jump back. Jump forward, little jump back. This is like most of my days at school. Two steps forward, one step back, but it's one big jump forward, one little jump back. So we'll have the whole team doing it all the way going down the court. So do a couple more, Drew. And you go down once, come back, and it's teaching him to be explosive. So what I want Drew to really emphasize, keep going, what I want you to really emphasize is as soon as you land, you're hopping. Land, hop. That's much better, yeah. That's working on that explosiveness, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna turn you around and we're gonna have you go back. Let's start here right on this white line. So when you're doing this, initially, you know, let them kind of jump and stop, and then jump back, and then jump forward, that's fine. But in, eventually, after you've done this drill a couple of days in practice, really work on, as soon as they land, ooh, I missed the rebound, I gotta go back up and get the next one. It's, it's that explosiveness that we're gonna really work on. All right, so as soon as you land, I want you to be like Rue on uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Isn't he, or Tigger, no, Tigger, it's Tigger. Sorry, Tigger, I want you to be Tigger. Okay, there's my Disney reference. You like Disney? Sure. Everybody likes Disney. All right, here we go. Good. Both feet together though. Keep them together. Power, 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 power. Good. Explosive. Explosive. That was really good. So really emphasize with them when you do this drill, this explosive drill, that as soon as they land, they go. Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing is make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. We we have one-on-one -on -one calls, community, it's resources, it's everything that it will take to become a better basketball coach. Less time, win more games. Let me help you do that from someone that's been a nationally ranked coach and done it for 30 plus years. Go over and check it out, teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video.